Good day. Welcome back to the Vitality Project. I'm Dr. Bob. Yesterday, we summarized a, a really superb Facebook Live conversation I had with a dear friend of mine, Angela McLeod. I really I recommend you to that uh, Facebook Live event. You can find it at the public page for the Vitality Project. Besides being a, a dear friend of mine, Angela brings so many areas of expertise to our ongoing dialogues, and we plan to have more here at the Vitality Project. Angela is deeply, deeply developed in a number of areas, uh, including uh, uh, lots and lots of training and background in nonviolent communication, where the goal is to listen and connect out of a shared sense of uh, human uh, compassion and with no aggression present in our hearts. Uh, she's very, very skilled at this. Another area she's uh, done a deep amount of training and personal experience in is the uh, intersection between mindfulness practice and what's referred to as Qigong, uh, which is basically translates as a kind of energy work, <clears throat> very involved with movement. She brings these practices together, mindfulness and energy work together uh, with a high level of skill. And then finally, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention she's a creative dancer, choreographer, and uh, she brings this artistic depth to virtually everything she does, including our conversations. <clears throat> uh, and so I recommend you to see those videos. And let me just summarize uh, uh, a few things that she and I talked about. We discussed how important it is, uh, especially when we're stressed, and I believe we all are right now with the global pandemic, how important it is to uh, stay on track with important tasks that we wish and need to complete. In a nutshell, what Angela and I were doing was looking for creative tips to manage uh, procrastination. In other words, putting off what needs to be done. And then we look for tips to, to manage this and reduce <coughs> the, the tendency to procrastinate when we're stressed. Uh, so far, uh, in our posts here at the Vitality Project, we've addressed two insights. The first one is breaking big tasks down into smaller ones. And you can review those posts the last few days. And we've also talked about not being afraid to ask for assistance from others. But I'd like to address a, a third pointer that came up uh, with Angela. I'd like to discuss that with you today. And this one has to do with uh, uh, making sure that we break up our work with what I'm going to call mini rewards, M-I-N-I, -I, mini, M-A-N-Y, mini rewards, mini, mini rewards. <laughs> so what do we mean by mini rewards? Well, both Angela and I find value in taking regular breaks from the task, whatever it might be, the task at hand. For me, that generally means that I take a 10-minute break most every hour. We do this for two primary reasons. First of all, it can take the sting out of less pleasant tasks by interspersing them with pleasurable little, I think of them as oases amidst a desert. It can really help to take the sting out of that. And that's related to the second uh, advantage uh, that I see with taking these mini rewards. And that is to sustain the long-term energy that's required for us to, if you think of it as like running a marathon, we need to be sure to give ourselves plenty of necessary what I think of as soul nourishing breaks. We need to keep our souls fed in order to keep it going. I personally like taking mini breaks to play piano, read for a few minutes, do some uh, uh, brief physical exercise. Uh, even for me, cleaning up around the house, which itself is a physically active break, I find really useful, especially when I'm working on something that's primarily mental or intellectual, uh, for example, like writing these blog posts. <clears throat> Let me put a question to you. How about you? What, what do you like to do or what could you do to spice up your hard work? I'd like you to think about that in your homework assignment uh, today is to see if you can interject in some play amidst your work and then just as an experiment, see how it affects your ability to sustain your momentum in that work, okay? Thanks for joining me today here at the Vitality Project. We'll be back tomorrow with a, another uh, tip or two about how to manage procrastination as we're working hard right now in a time of quarantine. 
really important that we get creative and uh, keep it going. All right. Thanks a lot. Take care.